Well, hello there. Um, well, if you're here, it's Hooter. Hooter. Um, well, today we're um, looking at my figure collection. Um, it's very vast and it's behind me. I've been uh, spending the last few days giving it a good old dust because we've had some works at the house, so it's all covered and caked in dust. So <laughs> I've meticulously taken them all off and uh, given them a, a rub with a cloth. Um, and then put them back up. So they're all back in place and um, they're in groupings of their era and doctors uh, and they're roughly in order of how the stories were broadcast. Um, so now I thought would be a good time to show you my collection and just go through it all. Um, obviously the majority of it is all character options, official releases, um, Includes stuff from the recent B&M batch that came out this year in 2019, um, but I've also got customs in there. Um, and in regard to customs, I'll go into more detail on those on another video um, and explore how to ex expand your collection outside of the official releases. Um, but for now, we're just going to have a look through and uh, show you what's what. So here's the collection as a whole. Uh, there's a lot, as you can tell. Uh, there's also some other stuff from other franchises and uh, nerdy things, but we're obviously focusing on Doctor Who, uh, my favourite. Uh, so let's focus in on the 60s era first. Here we go. Hello to Hartnell and Troughton. Um, as you can see, this one's a bit thin on the ground. Um, there weren't actually that many releases for the 60s, um, unfortunately. Um, as you can see, we've got, well, this is an Eagle Moss thing, so there might be the odd Eagle Moss thing chucked in, uh, but unfortunately not the right scale. Um, so that's a bit annoying, but this is the Emperor. Uh, looking at Hartnell, it is just Daleks and Cybermen. So you got, we've got uh, Daleks from the Chase, from the original story, the Daleks. We've got Dalek Invasion Earth Daleks at the back here. We've got the Supreme, a standard, and uh, a saucer pilot one. Obviously, we've got the uh, the Tenth Planet Cyberman, a Roboman from the Dalek Invasion Earth as well. Uh, what else we got here? We've got a uh, Dalek from the Daleks Master Plan. Uh, with a flamethrower. I think this is a Dalek Supreme as well from the Master Plan. We've got a Mechanoid from the Chase. Lovely. I'm very pleased with that. I used to love them as a kid. Uh, and then that's it for Hartnell for now. <laughs> then we move into Troughton. Uh, we've got Power of the Daleks. Dalek. Troughton himself, obviously. Um, Evil of the Daleks. Dalek Guard. Uh, for the Emperor, obviously. Uh, and down here we've got some nice little cyber mats. Very cute. They obviously go with the cyber controller from Tomb of the Cybermen and the standard Tomb Cybermen. Um, they also appeared in the moon base. There was a slight variation, but I don't, I don't know if that's uh, reflected in these figures. Probably not. Uh, what else we got? We got Ice Warriors from the original story. We've got uh, a Cyberman from the Invasion. Very nice. And I've get, I'm guessing you've all spotted the Yeti at the back here. Well, this is in fact a custom 3D printed figure um, that I've painted myself. Um, so it's very unique. This isn't an official release of any kind. Um, if you have a look, this panel should open if it plays ball. Actually, it won't play ball, will it? One second, I'll show you on the desk. So welcome to my desk, apologies for the mess. Um, so I thought we'd have a quick look at the Yeti. Um, he is articulated to a small degree, um, his legs move and things, but this panel opens. Here we go, it's opening. Um, 
and this is where the ball goes. So I've got the ball here, hello, and then that uh, pops in there. Job done. Um, so in a separate video, I'll tell you how I got these, but um, this is a 3D printed thing. Um, and it's beautiful, I'm quite happy with the way I've painted it. Let's go see the rest now. Right, now we've moved into the 1970s, and it's the Pertwee era. Arguably my favourite. So here we've got um, Pertwee as he appeared in the Sea Devils, Rodo Delgado, an Auton from Spearhead from Space, a Drashik from Carnival of Monsters, wonderful Sea Devils, yeah, including he's the head honcho, he's got a slightly darker shade. Uh, we've got two versions of the brig. He's from a B&M set over there. Uh, we've got Delgado seen in the Demons. We've got Claws of Axos, including the gold form and the orange squiggly, <laughs> squiggly form. Uh, we've got the Master's Tarnus at the back uh, from Time Monster. That's a rotocast. Uh, we've got Bok from the Demons. We've got another Brig and uh, Joe Grant. Joe! Uh, Pertwee from Carnival of Monsters. Up here we've got the, actually that's also from the Time Monster set. A different one. Uh, this TARDIS is from that set last year, 2018, with uh, Pertwee here in these lovely red jacket. Um, he came with that TARDIS. Um, we've got Omega, beautiful figure. We've got the Day of the Dalek Supreme. We've got Joe Grant again, as seen in the Three Doctors, I believe. Also the Brig again, as seen in the Three Doctors. Um, a Gel Guard. Um, again, we've got Pertwee, as seen in the Time Monster. I've given him the, uh, the rather phallic looking device and the uh, crystal of Kronos. Um, we've got some, well, this is a custom by myself. This is the Auton from a B&M set, but I've given it a more basic face uh, to try and emulate how they looked in that story, Terror of the Autons. Um, I've also made a little uh, troll doll from Terror of the Autons. Um, yeah, I'll go into more detail in another video on customs, but you can see that for now. We've got Delgado again. We've got Pertwee uh, from series of season 11. Uh, we've got some uh, maggots from the Green Death. Lovely jubbly. Lynx right here. A lovely Santaran. Then we've got a sort of Planet of the Daleks bit here. We've got John has seen a Planet of the Daleks. A Standard Dalek, the Dalek that was invisible, that they found in the jungle, that cliffhanger. The planet of the Dalek Supreme, and a torch for an eyepiece. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, we've got Joe and Pertwee as seen in Invasion of the Dinosaurs. And then we move into Season 11 again. So obviously Lynx was in Season 11. Uh, we've got Pertwee. Uh, as seen in Death of the Daleks, uh, along with um, Death of the Daleks, Dalek, with a, a lovely machine gun attachment and orange headlamps. We've got Pert we have seen in the Time Warrior, goes with Lynx. We've got another sound effects um, Death of the Daleks, Dalek. We've also got this custom Death of the Daleks, Dalek, where I've um, incorporated some plastic flame effect sort of accessory uh, into the Dalek to sort of replicate how it looked on the uh, VHS release and well when that Dalek gets hit by all those tribes people and explodes that's basically what it's trying to emulate yeah I have a soft spot for Death of the Daleks um, then we move finally into Planet of the Spiders so I've literally just bought some Halloween spiders and painted them to create some custom spiders. We've got the custom Pertwee because uh, they didn't release him like this, unfortunately. So I just bought another Tom, Regeneration Tom, and stuck a Pertwee head on it. 
Uh, so we've got this, and then we obviously got, as I mentioned just now, uh, Tom, once he's just regenerated. So we now move into the fourth Doctor era. Welcome to season 12. So, okay, it's not strictly in broadcast order, but here we go. We've got the Sontaran experiment. We've got Steyer with his ship. Uh, then we've got Tom being strangled by a Dalek mutant from Genesis of the Daleks. Uh, and obviously more Genesis. So we've got three Genesis Daleks with Michael Wisher Davros and poor Tom with his solemn head on stuck in the middle. At the back here we've got the K1 robot from Robot. <laughs> um, again we've got Tom but with the hat on from Genesis of the Daleks. And behind him we've got Harry Sullivan, who would have thought, from the recent B&M sets this year, 2019. Um, much welcome release. Uh, we've obviously got Revenge of the Cybermen, the Cyber Leader, and two standard Cybermen l lurching forward, uh, along with the Cyber Mat, lovely, lovely jubbly. Uh, we've got the Season 12 TARDIS, uh, it does have sound effects and stuff, but I don't know if the batteries are working at the moment. That's wonderful. We then move into season 13. Uh, and here we've got, well, this is a custom here uh, of Tom from uh, Planet of Evil. Uh, then we've got Terror of the Zygons. We've got Broton with his uh, Scarrison recall unit. Uh, a custom Zygon with an open mouth that we've done. Um, then we've got a lot of Pyramid of Mars. So here's Pyramid of Mars Tom. Um, with all these canopic jars. So we've got Marcus Scarman. Who would have thought we would have got Marcus Scarman? Amazing. Uh, we've obviously got Sutek. Wonderful. He's got light up eyes. It's absolutely wonderful. One of my favourite figures for sure. It's one of my wife's favourites as well. Uh, then we've got Sutek again, but with the jackal head and light, where his eyes are painted to look like they're lighting up. We've got the mummies, some of the gold wrapped ones that are slightly higher, slightly higher status, and within the pyramid on Mars, we've got the what should we call this? The the portal thing where <laughs> in the house where Sutek comes through, he gets uh, trapped in there at the end. Oh, spoilers. Uh, then we move on to Seeds of Doom. We've got Tom as seen in that story with a sword. We've got the uh, the crinoid pods. Uh, the crinoid is lurking at the back. Wonderful paint apps. Um, then we've got the master as seen in the deadly assassin with the Sasha Rassilon and a gun. We've got Morbius from the brain of Morbius. Wonderful. Uh, oh, one of my favourite stories as well. We've got the face of evil. Uh, with Leela here, as seen in that story. And she's got the gun, we've got an arrow, she's got a crossbow. Fortunately, I didn't get, get the signed edition, I wish I had, but you know, you win some, you lose some. Uh, then we've got Talons of Wen Chayan. So we've got Mr. Sin and the, the head for Magnus Greel at the back here. And then we've got Tom, as seen in that story, uh, released in the BNM set last year, 2018. Um, I got the set actually when um, they just painted the boots grey. So I actually customised this one before they re-released it with the correct legs. But there we go. It's right now anyway. <laughs> right, more Tom to come. Let's have a look. Here we go. Now we're on to Robots of Death. Wonderful. We've got SV7, D84, holding the, uh, that unit, I don't know what you call it, but, you know, it's part of the story. And they blow up um, another robot with it. Um, then we've got a mixture of other Vox here, some with the light-up eyes capability, when you put a light through the top, see those red dots there. Uh, we've got one from the fourth Doctor's Adventure set. Where he's got the uh, the quartz marker, and then up front here, we're kind of we're moving into season fifteen here, invasion of time. We've got Leela 
and we got um, store. Um, and this is quite a rare set now, very hard to pick up. But lovely job, we've got the gun from that story as well. Uh, and then, oh, I keep missing the largest thing here, we've got uh, the Fendaline, the large Fendaline, um, and then a Baba Fendaline, or, and uh, the skull from that story as well. And then Leela came with that set as well. Um, and then we're moving into season 17. So here we've got Skaros, Last of the Jagaros. Um, then we've got quite a lot for Destiny of the Daleks. Um, if you haven't seen my review of that story, please check it out. Shameless plug. <laughs> so we've got Davros from that story with his uh, crystal ball thing. I can't remember what it does. Uh, Tom from that story. We've got a kamikaze suicidal Dalek. Uh, some standard Daleks from that story. Uh, we've got the Mona Lisa. This is a fake. Uh, and then another season 17 Tom. And then we go... Oh, here we go. Not quite finished with season 17. We've got the Sharda set here. The recent b set. 2019. We've got the Sharda TARDIS with the... Well, the pink windows and the uh, lovely new sculpted uh, police siren thing going on on top. And then Tom from that story. Now we get into season 18. So here's Tom from season 18 with K9 and this unit um, that we see is in the Keeper of Traken. Uh, as you can see, they've reused the little ball thing there. Very nice. And then we've got the Master from the Keeper of Traken. And Tom without his coat on from the Keeper of Traken. The Melkur um, and the Master's TARDIS. And now. We enter Peter Davison's era. So now we're getting uh, a lot less in terms of figures as we enter the 80s. So here, I, as you can see, I've bought a lot of Earthshock Cybermen because oh, that's one of my favourite figures. I need to customise one of them into a Cyber Leader, really. Uh, but the detail on that is just absolutely fab. The see-through chins... Well, not the see-through chin, but the see-through chin element of the helmet, and then you can see the actor's chin beneath and the painted silver is wonderful. They've got the boots. You know, they've the, the, the attention to detail on the uh, the RAF suit is just impeccable. I love it. Um, and then we go into Resurrection of the Darks. We've got Terry Malloy's Davros. Um, the Supreme Dalek from that story, some standard Resurrection Daleks, uh, one with different headlamps, lovely, attention to detail there, we've got Peter uh, with his hat on, as he's seen at the start of that story, uh, and then we go into the Caves of Androzani right at the end, so there's only three stories for the dear old fifth doc, um, so we've got from the recent B&M set, we've got uh, Peter Davison, the fifth Doctor, as seen right at the end of the, the serial, before he regenerates. We've got his TARDIS from that story as well. We've got Shara's Jack and Perry um, from that story. We've got an android head that came with it and uh, Shara's Jack's true face. Lovely. <laughs> nice and horrible. Um, and that's it for the fifth Doc. Let's go and see the sixth. The Sixth Doctor. Welcome to the Sixth Doctor era. Um, starting off on the left, we've got uh, Colin, as seen as he's just regenerated from Peter, the Fifth Doc, into himself. <laughs> uh, this isn't the official release. I had to custom this using uh, one of those Peter Davisons from the recent Caves of Androzani set at B&M. Um, I just did that myself because the, the official release is very hard to find these days. Uh, then we go into Revelation of the Daleks set. So we've got Terry Malloy's Davros with... Uh, I changed the hands to the bit where his hand gets blown off. Um, the two versions of the Daleks in that story. We've got Colin as seen in that story with his lovely blue cape. Uh, at the 
back here we've got Vengeance on Varos, we've got Syl and uh, Perry is seen in that story. Um, then we've got Attack of the Cybermen with uh, a Cyber Controller custom that I've done there. Um, I've also customised these standard Attack Cybermen, as you can see I've painted the chins because I'm that sad. <laughs> uh, then we got a, a rogue side man from that story where they've used a bit of artistic license on the uh, the face underneath the faceplate. Um, very nice. Then we have a Sontaran as seen in The Two Doctors. This is Group Marshal Stike and he came with Perry as seen in that story and uh, the second Doctor when he turns into an Androgum. Uh, he's got us, uh, well He's got the silly red eyebrows, <laughs> which signifies that. Um, it'd be nice to have a standard release of him, but that might have come with... Um, ooh, that 13th Doctor set, which is now incredibly hard to get. Uh, so maybe I've missed out there. But uh, now next we've got uh, Colin Baker, seen in Terror of the Vervoids. And then last but not least, we have Colin in his blue outfit, which is predominantly seen on big finish covers, but he's also... In that animated story, uh, real time. So next we have the seventh Doctor era, um, and it's just Daleks and Cybermen for him. It's unfortunate because he has some incredible looking other monsters in his era. Uh, so he's the seventh doc Doctor, as seen in Remembrance of the Daleks, and his Davros hiding underneath. But the paint apps on that are a bit annoying. I might redo that. Um, We've also, what else have we got? We've got a, a Dalek mutant with its claw arm when it attacks the Doctor. That's a very nice addition. It came with that Davros, actually. Um, we've got the special weapons Dalek. Um, and he came out as a single release in the sound effects thing. Uh, and he also came in the Remnants of the Dalek set. So there's... Um, Two standard Daleks, they've got slightly varying eyepieces, and one's got the correct plunger with the little gaps cut out, and the other one hasn't. It's a bit frustrating. Uh, we've got Ace, as seen in that story, with a rocket launcher. Very nice. She's a badass. Uh, we've got the Seventh Doctor with, with no hat and a solemn head. Um, in his TARDIS. He came in the Seventh Doctor and TARDIS set. Um, lurking down there, we've got Ace in that painting from Silver Nemesis, which came with this ace here, slightly different. Uh, she also came with the uh, the ghetto blaster thing that they used to blast jazz at the Cybermen, who were utterly confused. Um, oh yeah, I haven't finished with Remembrance of the Daleks, we've got uh, the Supreme Dalek from that story, and we've got a couple of Renegades as well. Slightly different eyepieces again. Uh, and then we've got the Seventh Doctor in his Season 26 outfit, and two variations there, um, and a bunch of Silver Nemesis side men here. Not the ones from the recent B&M set, which have a slightly shinier paint job to try and emulate the chrome effects that they had in the story. Uh, and then we sort of merge into the 50th anniversary and the Eighth Doctor. Well, we've got the Eighth Doctor seen in the TV movie. Uh, we've got him from Night of the Doctor as well. Uh, then we've got John Hurt, the War Doctor in the, the moment, and the extra Paul McGann head. Uh, and then we've also got the Curator when Tom returns to the 50th anniversary, along with the uh, painting of Gallifrey and Flames. It's probably not coming out too well, but there it is. Right, now we've hit the new series. Um, now's a good time to probably go and grab a cup of tea, uh, if you haven't done so already. So maybe pause and uh, go and grab a refreshment. Uh, and now you've unpaused, so let's crack on. <laughs> so here's the ninth dock. Um, so here we've got a standard Dalek. Uh, we've got the Empty Child Doctor Dancers two-parter. We've got Jack, Captain Jack Hartness from that story, got the, the kid in the gas mask, what's his name, Jamie, um, terrifying, uh, got Victor Meldrew, <laughs> um, 
and the gas mask head. Uh, you can also see the scar on his hand, so yeah, that's a nice touch, nice bit of detail. We've got an auton, which I sort of custom, but I just broke the thing off. Um, so you probably see a slightly improved version next time I do a collection update. Uh, we've got the the inside of a Dalek that I've taken out of the uh, the Dalek reveal Dalek. <laughs> uh, my plan is to do a custom to pop that in a one of these new sculpt Daleks like this and uh, leave it open. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Hope we can get round to that sooner than later. Um, let's see what we've got in the back here. We've got another Rawton with a different shirt. We've got the Gelf Zombie from the Unquiet Dead. We've got a Slovene. Um, and then we've got a Dalek with a claw hand, if you can see that. Here we go. Yeah. Claw hand that was taken off a Dalek with a claw hand, but stuck on the the new sculpt. We've got the uh, Emperor Dalek guard with the black dome from one of those Toys R Us Doctor Dalek sets. Um, and yeah, what else have we got from the Ninth Doctor? Actually, we have to go up here to have a look. We'll just quickly vacate this area. Whoa! Um, and yeah, here we've got the uh, the. I think they're called the Reapers from the Father's Day. It did light up at one point, but um, I think they erased the batteries. And sorry for the dust, I haven't got quite got to that here. But we also got a uh, Emperor Dalek, Eagle Moss. Came with a subscription to the magazine. Um, couldn't resist. <laughs> we'll come back to these other bits. Oh, there's Lynx's uh, Sontara spaceship from uh, the 70s. I forgot to mention that. Sorry, Lynx. Um, and there's his little loo. It looks like a loo rather than a chair, but there they are. We'll come back to those other bits over there in a minute. Um, and if we come back down here, we're now entering the David Tennant era, the Tennant's Doctor. So we've got the the Sycorax at the back here. Sycorax leader, standard Sycorax. We've got some clockwork droids from the girl on the fireplace. All three variants, the black, blue and the purple. We've also got the uh, Cyber Controller and two standard Cybermen from the Rise of the Cybermen Age of Steel two-parter in Series 2. Um, and there's quite a few figures from the Impossible Planet Satan Pit two-parter. Uh, with the Ood here. Very nice. We've got Tenant without a helmet in a spacesuit. We've got Toby. Um, with all the markings all over him. We've got Tenant with the helmet on, in the Sanctuary 6 base suit. We've got an Eagle Moss um, beast figure, um, obviously not to scale, because the werewolf was not bigger than the beast. He was The beast was humongous, so <laughs> that would be quite difficult to have um, to scale, probably. <laughs> um, then we've got a couple of the jars that were helping to uh, imprison the beast as well at the back there. Um, as mentioned just now, there's the werewolf from Tooth and Claw at the start of Series 2. Uh, we've got the Idiot's Lantern covered here as well. We've got Maureen Lippman. Uh, and the little device the Tense Doctor uses. There's the granny without a face, and there's an actual face. Um, and we've got Acrylatane. From uh, the school reunion when uh, Liz Sladen returns. We've got another Quilletine out there, grey variant as well. Uh, and then we enter the series 2 finale. We've got the Genesis Arc. Uh, we've got Dalek Sec from the Cult of Scare um, in the new Dalek sculpt. The more accurate one. Um, this was a, I think it was a North American release when they got the Cyberman, Dalek Sec, and Tenant. Um, yeah, had to get that. Uh, and then we've got a Cyberman with a arm gun. Uh, we've got a Dalek with a, not a Dalek. That is a Cyberman. <laughs> That's a Cyberman with one of those gigantic guns. Uh, we've got Tenant with his 3D glasses. And then we hit series three. Um, have a look at that. So we've got the we've got Tenant and his iconic iconic look. We've got 
Martha, we've got the Jadoon, the leader and uh, a standard trooper. We've got a Carrionite. Um, we've got the Burn With Me bloke from 42. Uh, we've got Dark Sec, when he becomes a human Dark hybrid. We've got Laszlo, a pig slave from that same story. Um, we've got the Weeping Angels, of course. How can you not have that? Uh, we've got the three variants of Scarecrow. The blue is the most rare one. Um, yeah, we've got the standard brown one. We've got a more, not sure, it's a darkish red pinky thing going on there. Um, and then we get to the series three finale. We've got John Sim, the master, Harold Saxon. Um, he has returned. We've got Martha when she's living in that. Dysutopian world of the master. We've got the Toclophane, one open, one closed. Well, I didn't realise I actually made a closed variant, so I tried to make my own and then I dropped it recently when I was dusting, so I have to fix that bad boy. Um, then we've got the, the next Doctor covered at the back here, the, the Christmas special with the, the Cyber Leader variant. That's basically a merge of a, well, what you'd expect from a Cyber Leader and a Cyber Controller. Uh, we've got the Cyber King, Eagle Moss again, uh, not to scale. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at Series 4 now. If we move on back over here, a bit further down, we've got, well, another special actually. We've got the Voyage of the Damned covered. We've got the host, we've got Banner Cafalata, uh, my mother's and mother in law's favourite character from Doctor Who. <laughs> um, he actually has a well, we can remove his uh, little dinner jacket thing going on here. Do this more slickly, but yeah, you can see his robotic innards. I mean, he's got his little device in there. Uh, there we go. Oh, I dropped it. I'm not causing mayhem now. Where's it gone? Here it is. And that's what he uses an EMP, EMP device against the, the host. And we'll pop that back down. Right, actually moving on to Series 4 now, we've got, uh, let's see what we've got up front, we've got the, the Adipose from Partners in Crime. We've got Donna Noble, I've seen in Planet of the Ood, with a nice snug coat, and there's a, a natural Ood with a brain in its hand, and then Ood Sigma. Uh, we've got the Sontarans up front, from the Sontaran Stratagem and Poison Sky two-parter. Uh, as you may have noticed, the giant yellow thing at the back is the wasp. That's the Vesper form from, uh, oh, the unicorn and the wasp. We've got the fire, the fires of Pompeii covered with uh, the priestess, who's been inhaling way too much fumes from the volcano. Uh, we've got the Paravar at the back, lovely figure. Let's see, we've got a hat from uh, the Doctor's Daughter. We've got the Vashta Narada covered from the uh, the Library 2 part. Eh? What's it called? Silence in the Library, Forest of the Dead. We've got R River Song with a blaster uh, and uh, uh, the something that the Doctor gives her. And then we've got David Tennant. No coat this time. Uh, a Dalek with a crucible attachment. Um, then we've got Timothy Dalton playing Rassilon at the back there, I think, from the end of time uh, Christmas special in Two Halves. Um, Tenant Swan Song. And then we move into the Matt Smith era. So looking at Matt Smith, we've got Series 5 stuff here. We've got well, technically this is Matt Smith from Series 6, but it's a nicer figure, I feel, than the Series 5 version. Um, here we've got Amy Pond, as you've seen in that series. We've got Rory. Um, we've got a couple of Weeping Angels, one that's regenerating itself, and one that's screaming at the back of Amy Pond there. Uh, from the mid-series two-parter. That was very good. Um, we've got the Silurian two-parter covered. Um, 
a new redesign. We've got Prisoner Zero at the back here from the epic 11th hour. We've also got quite a lot for Victory of the Daleks. Um, I've forgotten this character's name. Uh, well, it's Bill Patterson, isn't it? But, uh, it's, oh, it's Bracewell. Br Bracewell, wasn't it? Yeah, that was it. Um, and then a load of accessories of him. A different arm. The arm when his hand gets shot off by the Daleks. Um, the, his explosive innards, if you've seen the story. But the three phones uh, that came with Churchill, actually. Here he is. He's got a few accessories as well, like glasses and a different hand. There he is. Um, and then we've got a Dalek with T. Nice. Um, <laughs> another Dalek with um, its headlamps covered up. And then got a, a drone Dalek for part of a new Dalek paradigm. Uh, they, that get a nice, uh, more metallic finish when it comes to the side of the Daleks. Um, and then we just sort of jump into. Pandorica opens Big Bang finale with River Song. In that story, you've got the Sideman helmet that opens. You've got the Sideman who attacks Amy Pond. He's protecting the, uh, the Pandorica. Um, actually, speaking of the Pandorica, it's up here. Uh, hang on. Whoa. That also brings me to these David Tennant fingers I forgot to mention. We've got uh, the Rachnos. Empress um, from the Runaway Bride, which is a huge figure, couldn't fit it on there. And then we also got the, the lift from the Impossible Planet Satan Pit two parter that uh, carried the Doctor down into the depths of the asteroid that's uh, sort of in, not in orbit, I don't know how to describe it, but it's near a black hole, and that's when he meets uh, the devil inside the asteroid. Um, with going back to the Pandorica Opens, Big Bang 2 part, so this is what I was originally going to talk about. Um, this is Matt Smith, as seen in Series 5, with his Sonic, and he's trapped in the chair inside the Pandorica. Um, I don't have the sides for this, but um, yeah, I don't really need those. I think they released them with uh, CDs on the side, so they didn't look particularly accurate, it just looked a bit naff, so I didn't bother. Right, we're done with Series 5, we're on to Series 6. So we've got the, the astronaut, we've gone for the version with River Song's face in it, rather than the little girl, because I just thought that was a bit weird. <laughs> um, and then we've got the Silence. Really fantastic figures. I love the paint apps on these, the one with closed mouth and open mouth. I don't like the grey versions that they uh, subsequently released. Much, much preferred this uh, peachy skin color. Uh, still with series six, we've got uh, the uh, the duplicate of Matt Smith, the other doctor, from the Rebel Flesh, Almost People two-parter. Uh, we've got uh, one of those peg dolls from Night Terrors. Uh, then we've got three side men from Closing Time, and they're all rusted and in bits. So we've got the uh, the side mats that go with them as well. Ah, oh, there they are. That was the main exciting thing of that story, was seeing the side mats return. Um, and then that's, that's, yeah, I haven't got any more from Series 6 at the moment. That just sort of brings us into Series 7, uh, where we've got the Lump Doctor seen in the Snowmen. Um, and we've got um, Oswin Oswald from the Sign of the Daleks with a souffle. Uh, stuck in Dalek next to her. Um, then what else have we got from Series Seven? We've got some uh, some little cherub statues from what was it? well, there's, they're there to re represent the angels take Manhattan. This came actually with a three point seven five inch figure set. Um, I just got these off eBay um, to say something. <laughs> so something was representing Series Seven. We've also got the chain that um, shackles one of the angels in that story as well. Um, and then, really, the last thing we've got from dear old Matt is um, his Series 7 costume. Uh, this is actually a time of the Doctor set, where it comes with handles, 
uh, comes with an aged face for Matt, um, and a cane, um, a Peter Capaldi head sculpt, um, a variant for his chest you can chuck in there, so he looks like he's just regenerated. And then we go into the Capaldi era. So we've got his TARDIS at the back that they did release, thankfully. Uh, it looks beautiful inside. I love it. I love the uh, I love this version of the TARDIS. Wonderful. Um, and then you'll notice, because obviously, you, if you're a nutter like me who loves figures, you will notice it's not actually that many Capaldi figures, official ones, that are actually released, and a lot here are actually customs. Um, so a lot of these um, I've actually bought off a bloke uh, who makes them, and he's got a Flickr account um, where he shows them off, and I just asked him, could you make me some of these? I'm dying to fill out my Capaldi era. And he said yes, so I'll cover that in my customs video when I get around to that. Um, but I'll show you what we've got anyway, for now. So we've got a standard Series 8 Capaldi. Uh, we've got Missy, as seen in Series 8, with her device and her umbrella. We've got the variant of her in the finale with, well, just in black and a smiling face. What's, it? What's that story called? It's called a Dark Water, Death in Heaven, that, isn't it? Uh, we've got Bill from the recent uh, B&M set. I think that was actually last year, in fact, 2018. We've got uh, a robot knight from Robot of Sherwood. We've got Clara here. That was an official release. It's just basically the Oswin Oswald, but in a different colour, without the bell. Uh, but still, nice to have. Uh, we've got the Clockwork Man from Deep Breath. Love that story. We've got the variant of Peter seen in Robot of Sherwood. It was near the Robot Knight. Uh, we've got a variant of Capaldi with, uh, I think it's his outfit from the Under the Lake Before the Flood two-parter, the ghost one. Uh, very nice story. Um, this is a Capaldi I've done myself, a custom. Uh, just him in the outfits who represent Kill the Moon. I'll do the spiders with him as well at some point. Uh, we've got the Teller from Time Heist. Lovely jubbly, love that dude. Uh, we've got the Mummy from Mummy on the Orient Express. We've got Sandman from the Sleep No, Sleep no More uh, single parter. We've got a Zygon from Series Nine from the Zygon Invasion Inversion two parter. Uh, and we've got Colony Sarf from Magician's Apprentice, which is familiar. Series Nine opener. Got Series 9 Capaldi, I think. It may not be his costume for that story, actually. I think it's uh, later on. But he's there. It's, it's, it's close. <laughs> close enough for now. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I've stuck the Series 4 finale figures, uh, the, the Dalek Supreme and Davros from that story here, because, well, Davros gets more airtime in this story, so I felt it was more earned to be here. Um, behind him, we've got this, the, the Monk from the Series 10 of middle of the series three parter. Um, we've got a standard Dalek at the back. We've got series nine Capaldi as seen in the uh, Face the Raven Heaven Sent um, Hell Bent three part finale effectively. We've got a series ten Missy up front here from the B and M set from which this Capaldi also came along with Bill over here. She is. Uh, I've stuck a 10th Planet Cyberman down here uh, just to fill out the ranks and cover the, the Series 10 finale uh, with World Enough and Time Dr. Falls. And then we've got uh, an Ice Warrior Queen, as seen from Empress of Mars, along with a standard Ice Warrior using the new series design. Um, really annoying, we didn't officially release these, but this guy's done a wonderful job. Love it. Um, and that actually brings us to the end of all of my Doctor Who figures. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and yes, I hope you look forward to um, my next video. 
whenever that comes around about customs uh, so watch out for that um, but for now don't forget to subscribe click on that bell thing um, like the video say comments you know all the rest of it in welcome any comments um, even if they're rude so <laughs> go ahead and do that um, and I'll see you in the next video